want to get into something even, you know, more important. It's not about land. It's not about mailers or LOLs. It's really about how did you feel? You, like you mentioned laying in bed with your life or with your wife, thinking about, oh my God, I got into this. I'm not, I'm not successful having the, those, 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 those limiting doubts. And, you know, I don't, I don't even want to imagine what went through your mind at midnight some nights, you know, because that happens to us. We're tired. We're, we're doubting everything. We're doubting ourselves. And we wake up the next morning, get out of bed. We feel better. But how did it feel walking into the house that night with that check for 19000 uh, Say it again. How much was it? $19,680.40. $19, and you know it to the penny. I how did, did that feel showing your wife like, this is real. I made it happen. I did this. You stuck with me. Thank you. Thank you for having faith in me. I mean, and then I want to know about the celebration. Like, did you guys go out? Like, did, did you go out to dinner? Like, what did you do to celebrate that type thing? So two things. How did it feel? And what did you do to celebrate? Well, uh, I mean, I, I mean, it's hard to describe, but I will say that my, my wife, um, you know, the, she wasn't bawling or anything, but there, there were tears. I mean, it was, it was a long road. Uh, and she, and we both knew it was coming, you know, there, there, you know, it, she, you know, we, we'd come close a, a handful of times. And, and so we both knew that it was, you know, it was in the stars, but when, when that, again, that, that, uh, when faith becomes fact and, um, you know, that those little questions in the back of your mind, those little doubts have been, have been squashed, uh, you know, and, and those questions have been answered and this is real and it's viable and it's, and it is a part of our life and future now. I mean, that, that was definitely an emotional, it was an emotional day. And, um, you know, when the, when the money actually, when the wire transfer actually hits the account and, and, you know, you can show her that balance. It was, it was, you know, I mean, it was unforgettable. So, um, <clears throat> you know, uh, and what did we do to celebrate? Well, paid off some stuff first and foremost, you know, we, we, we definitely, um, we, you know, tightened up our, our budget and paid down some debts. Uh, but I don't think that counts as a celebration. Um, what you, be, it's a win. Uh, I, I, we, we were pretty, I, I, I kept it pretty modest. I, I really wanted to buy a jet ski, but, uh, but I've been, <laughs> That's but, awesome. but yeah, but I've been, you know, we, we, we live, um, in the land of lakes and rivers and, and so nothing crazy, but I didn't, I, I'm, I'm being patient. I've, I, I have, uh, <laughs> I've successfully, um, avoided that impulse buy, uh, but I did actually get, um, a, a new uh, a new chop saw. I got I got some tools. I'll be honest, Brent. I bought I bought I bought a couple of nice tools. That I would say that's uh, that was the I love <laughs> that event of my celebration. Well, I mean, you kept the faith. Your wife kept the faith, and at the end of the day, that's worth more than money. Um, yeah. And you've got proof of concept. You've done it once. You've got three more under contract. You know, I want you to go out and look up what the most badass jet ski there is and <laughs> put, a free, put a huge poster on the wall. Put two of them. I think you should get two jet skis, you know, one for you, one for your wife. I mean, what would that cost? Like, like what are they, like nine grand a piece? Oh, boy. Uh, on the high end, Brent, I mean, you can you can spend fifteen twenty thousand dollars $20,000 per jet ski. All right. We want two $20,000 <laughs> jet skis. You just did it. You just did a net profit of 19 grand on your first deal. Imagine if you had a buyer's list. Now you can have a bidding war. You, you get like the, the sharks swimming in the water and then now they're driving it up and you get $50,000 for the next $3,600 piece of land. So I want you to find the, the, the $20,000 jet skis, put two of them on your wall right in front of your computer. So when you're sending your LOLs and you, you hear about another marketing strategy, someone else doing something with, with, uh, with pay-per-click or clickbait, like throw that out the window until you perfect your LOLs. Get your, your LOLs going out consistently every single week, whether Daniel, you're, you're chopping wood on the chop saw or you're on vacation riding your jet ski or riding your second jet ski because the first one got boring. <laughs> um, put that on your wall so you work towards that. 
and set up that marketing strategy to go out consistently because that's one of the things like I've coached hundreds of people now and I see the things that they're doing to be successful and they're automating their mailing, their LOLs going out consistently. Number two, they're within about a two hour time frame. And number three, they're sticking with their county. They're, they're not having analysis paralysis and shiny object system. They're sticking to one thing that's working and they're, they're perfecting it automating it, delegating and dominating their area. So keep that in mind. I, I, I see I see you on a jet ski very, very soon here. <laughs> right on. I, I appreciate it. Well I'll have to get some uh, I'll have to get some posters and, and put them up. <laughs> yeah you could probably go to the dealership and say, hey, uh, I'm thinking about buying that one. You got any posters of it? And they'll probably give you one for free. <laughs> <laughs>